I'm going to go ahead and create one and show you how that works. So create a new credential. As you can see here, it's asking for a client ID and a client secret. So in order to get these, you need to go to a website called portal.azure.com. All right, so once you sign in, go ahead and go to the search bar over here, and then you're going to type in app registrations. Then go ahead and click on app registrations. Next, we need to slide over here and click on new registration. Then we need to basically get a new directory by signing up for Azure. So go ahead and click on signing up for Azure. Then click on try Azure for free. As you can see basically here, your credit card won't be automatically charged unless you move to pay as you go pricing. So this is completely free. You don't have to worry about getting charged. Go ahead and go to how do you plan on using your Azure account? We'll just say for personal use. Then go ahead and enter in your information. And then we're going to click please solve the puzzle so we know you're not a robot. Hit next. All right, once that's done, go ahead and hit next. Next, go ahead and enter in your information, then check this box and then hit next. Next, as I said earlier, this is completely free and you won't be charged unless you actually manually say that you want to switch to pay as you go pricing. So next, we're going to go ahead and enter in our information, scroll down and then hit sign up. All right, and once that is done, go ahead and click next. All right, so now that that is done, we just need to go back and finish our app registration. So go back to app registrations. Then go over here and click on new registration. Then we're going to give it a name such as N8N. For our supported account times, go ahead and just use accounts in any organizational directory and personal Microsoft accounts. Next, for our redirect URI, we just need to get this from N8N. So go back over to N8N. And the redirect URL is going to be this one over here. So go ahead and click on this a couple times. Just make sure that it copies and then go back over to the app registration and then basically paste it over into here. And the platform is going to be a web platform. Then all we need to do is go over here and click on register. Alrighty, so now all we need to do is basically get our client ID, copy it, go back over to NADN, paste it in for the client ID. Then we need to get our client secret. So go back over to Azure. And then we basically need to add a secret. So click on add a secret. Then we're going to go ahead and click on new client secret. Then we're going to go ahead and give it a quick description for this. I'll just say N8N. -N. And for the expiration date, I'm going to go ahead and say 730 days. Then go ahead and click on add. All right. And there is our client secret all complete. So all you need to do is copy the value over here. So click on copy. Then go back over to N8N -N and hit paste. And last thing to do is hit connect my account. Then go ahead over here and enter in your email address and click next. Next, we just need to scroll down and then click on accept. And there it is, connection successful. I just showed you how to connect NADN with Microsoft 365. So smash that subscribe button to learn more about AI voices every single day. And I'll see you in the next video.